Hi, this is Chad Morlock. I directed and wrote this, and uh, I also acted in it. That's me on the left, uh, my friend Paul on the right. Uh, I think I was about 15 or 16 when I made this in uh, my creative writing class, and frankly, I don't know what I was going for. Uh, I think I was trying to turn it into some kind of uh, Hitchcock or David Lynch uh, thriller, but I completely missed the point of anything. Oh, this is funny. I think Paul pretty much improvised this part. <laughs> you can hear me laughing there. And me getting fake artsy. And that is a real antique gun. I don't know where it came from, or even what caliber it is. And there's Steve playing dead. Oh, more blood! Ooh! I'm certainly not a leading man. In fact, I don't think I'd ever acted before. Not that I made any attempt to start here. What I was doing here can't really be described as acting more than trying to remember lines from my script because I don't really know enough people to act in my movie, so I had to write, you know, a few very small parts that, you know, my two or three friends that could show up could uh, fill. And oh boy, I'm trying to get artsy again. Be afraid, folks. Yeah, this shot goes on way too long. Ah, uh, the first-person shooter moment. You know, I don't know why I switched between color and black and white. I was abusing the iMovie like uh, pretty much every amateur does. I don't know what I was going for for this. It was probably supposed to be a dream sequence or something, but frankly, I can't remember. Oh boy, the Resident Evil title screen. Yes, I named him Dr. Phil Good. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. <laughs> That's actually the script, of course, that Paul has in his hands there. And yeah, this is... Uh <laughs> oh, man, I suck. Yes, he's going to assign me to a subscription. Nintendo Power, maybe? I am so sorry I kept that line. Hey, the air conditioner, or possibly the pool filter. I love my Sith Lord robe. Yeah, because you've got a knit cap pulled over it. But frankly, this is where the movie completely falls apart. I mean, it wasn't really, you know, together to begin with, but I mean, it really got bad here. It, it doesn't make a damn lick of sense. I don't know why I kept doing the eyeball thing. Nosebleed! And now I oversaturate the color like a moron. I don't know what happened. My hands exploded and I bled out. And, of course, this song is uh, Mad World by Tears for Fears, which uh, the film is named for. Uh, of course, there is now a Wii game called Mad World, but this, uh, of course, I made this before the Wii even came out, and certainly before Mad World was planned, so, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, 
yeah, there's there's not really any defense for this other than this was one of the few songs I had in my iTunes, uh, you know, thing at the time. And also, I have to kind of apologize because I didn't think I would be uploading this to YouTube. YouTube wasn't even a flash then. I mean, uh, oh, the outtakes. These are delightful. <laughs> oh, the script blows across the screen. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I wish I could actually, you know, give some insight into what the, the outtakes entail, but they're just funny. Oh, I hate myself for this. I'm still here, by the way. I'm not cutting off the commentary, but... <laughs> oh, that was obviously on purpose. Yeah, my dad sprays me with the hose. Yes, I am an idiot. Ah, crooked lips. Yeah, this, uh, might have been before I got my Buick, so, uh, yeah. Funny thing is, you can't even hear most of this conversation, so it, it doesn't matter. It's just included because I had all this extra footage, and because I had no concept of filmmaking at the time. I, <laughs> I really didn't know much about, you know, how to do this. I, uh, a fat kid trying to tell a story. And, you know, not a story that has any meaning or a plot or anything. It's just really vague and stupid. Yeah, you've got to love the, uh, you know, Final Fantasy style uh, handing nothing, just, you know, with a closed fist. What of it? Yeah, I did a pretty terrible job here, but what are you gonna do, right? Oh boy! It's coming right at us! <laughs> he seems awfully calm for a, you know, psychiatrist to. Uh, you know, encounters a patient with a gun. Yeah. Another one of the few songs I had in my iTunes uh, files. I'm pretty sure all the songs I had on my uh, in my iTunes account were uh, due to that free promotion they had that year. Or, uh, you know, on the Pepsi bottle caps. Actually got me to start drinking Pepsi instead of Dr. Pepper for a while. I don't know why. I mean, Pepsi, nah, I don't really like it, but... Oh, that was annoying. And some rubber gloves on the table, next to an ashtray. Your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Uh, I'm, I'm glad my friends were good sports about, you know, me attempting to act. I, uh, it was a bad idea for me to go into this whole Orson Welles mode because, you know, I really had, uh, well, I still have no acting experience and I, uh, frankly should not be, you know, doing any acting at all, but, you know, it was funny, whatever. You all get to enjoy my poor acting. You know, I should have included a nostalgia critic. I'm acting! <laughs> uh. 
hallway. You know, I, I, I didn't think of it, but, uh, you know, during this, I probably could have put together a pretty good slapstick comedy, you know, Three Stooges type movie. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's actually a good image. And Steven dances. This is funny. Like I said, we could have put together a, uh, you know, Marx Brothers comedy or, you know, Three Stooges type thing, but I didn't think about that. I, I'm like, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do this kind of thriller thing that, uh, you know, whatever. It's gonna be, you know, mysterious, and it, it just ended up being really, really stupid. Sorry. And that music, of course, is New Gods by uh, the Meat Puppets. Oh, this part's great. Like I said, why did I not make a comedy? It's hilarious. Yes, I missed out on the chance to make a great comedy. Clearly. At this point, I think we just left the camera rolling in it. <laughs> and here comes some slapstick. Or, well, yeah, slapstick. I don't know where I was for this, but I, I am very glad I wasn't there because I would have gotten all serious and tried to cut it like some kind of idiot. Pratfall! I must be somewhere around there. Boom! Folding chair to the back of the head! Ooh, yeah! Frankly, the camera does not, you know, facilitate that stuff well. Uh -huh. you me? Yes, the camera hog. Everybody hates me. And I would hate myself, too. I did. Uh, stop talking, chat. You're an idiot. Got it. Yeah! 